Today, St. Vincent Charity Medical Caregivers hosted its final trick-or-treat event for Cleveland's central neighborhood. For more than a decade, the event has provided a safe and fun Halloween for kids, as well as health screenings for the entire neighborhood. Lindsay Buckingham reports on the bittersweet last party. Dancing volunteers, children's cheers. Do you like the event here today? Yes! Yeah. And a dedicated group of St. Vincent Charity peers. Helping us to live the spirit of the hospital and spread it into the neighborhood. For the past decade, these doctors, nurses, and volunteers passing out candy and leading spooky activities for Cleveland's central community. Happy children. They are so happy playing with the, the bubbles in the air, getting candy, playing the games, being with each other just feeling comfortable. The last few years, free health screenings, meals, and bags of household goodies for those in need. And I'm helping out the community, giving back. Rewarding, to say the least. Also, sentimental. With St. Vincent Charity Medical Center's transition from inpatient to outpatient care on the horizon, today is the last trick-or-treat event here. Oh, I am very sad. I am very sad. So we'll be stretching ourselves in new ways to help the people in the neighborhood. I think the caregivers were extremely blessed to be able to do this one more time for the community. That is the mission of the hospital, to serve the community. And these kids are the future of this community. The mission to serve will continue. We've always been here for the people of Central. We love them and want to care for them in all ways that we can. Now the hospital will make the transition from inpatient to outpatient care next month. Southwest General Health Center announcing it will continue the work of St. Vincent Charity's bariatric surgery. To learn more about those changes, head to WKYC.com. Russ and Laura. All right, Lindsay Buckingham live for us tonight with that story. Lindsay, thank you so much. You're welcome. You know that meant so much to those kids today. Oh, totally. Yes, thanks, Lindsay.